Okay, a while back when we hit 50,000 subs on the Atomic Shrimp channel, I made this little box to celebrate. And I've been meaning to frame this for a while now. Now we're actually, at this point, already on 80,000 subs, so thank you so much for subscribing and sticking with me. I really do appreciate it. I did shop far and wide to try to find a suitable box type frame for this, and I just couldn't find one anywhere. Because what I want to do, I want to frame the box itself. And I want to put this piece of paper underneath it as well in the frame. I couldn't find anything the right size and depth. So that's what I want to frame. So instead, we're going to make one. So I went to Poundland and I spent the princely sum of one pound to buy this eight by 10 photo frame, which will do just nicely. But of course, it isn't deep enough. So let's go off to the store and get some mounting board and then we'll extend the back of this frame and make a box frame. where you probably get two goes at opening it and closing it because it has these little bend up tabs that you bend back to take out the board and then after you've bent those back and forth a few times they snap off. That glass fits very very neatly inside there so that's going to be our template. So we're not going to use all of this card today and it's actually quite an awkward shape to work on my little studio table here. So let's cut it down to a size that seems more reasonable in terms of what we're going to work on today. Okay, now we're going to mark up this board on the reverse side. So we're going to make an inch and a half border, which is going to fold down to make the box. Much easier to work on this side. And actually, if we want to score anything, we've got to score this side to fold it the other way. So. I'm just going to mark that side. Okay, now we're finished with the glass. And we just need to me measure out an a further inch and a quarter this direction. And the same in that dimension there. Now we will just cut this out. Right, so work pieces down to a more manageable size. Now I just need to extend these lines out here because we're going to do something clever at the ends to join it all together. In fact, we're going to cut those now. Okay, so first off we are going to be folding in the piece at this end here. Now I need to just score very lightly so that this card will fold in the right place. So just fingertip pressure there. So last little bit is going to be a cut. Now because this has to fit in to back into the edge of that frame, this piece is going to cut, fold over and then fit on top of there. I actually need to shave a piece off here that is the equivalent depth of this frame. So there we go, we've got our pieces all scored and cut. Let's do a little bit of careful folding. Now a little bit of puckering of the surface material is almost inevitable. I could have probably cut a little bit deeper with those score lines and avoided that, but it's a risky game cutting deeper than I did because I might just go straight through. And then these glue together, those are going to glue onto there like that. And of course then there is enough slack there to avoid the frame. And we should only need a very, very light coating on here. Don't really want to have to deal with any squeeze out or anything like that. So 
we are just going to use the thinnest of smears. It's only got to join paper to paper. Actually, while we're here, I can stick these things in. So I'm going to stick, that's going to go in something like that. I don't want to flatten this completely because the whole point of this was it was folded inside the box and it was a little bit of a surprise on the video. Don't mind that at all. Right, put a little bit of weight on top of that to glue it down. Back in a moment when all the glue's dry. Okay, let's go. So. Okay, now we're going to put it all back together. So, we better polish that glass. Don't need to worry too much about the face that's going to be on the outside because we can clean that after it's all put together. So, just got a piece of tissue with some alcohol there. Give that a wipe over. Okay, so that's going to be the inside face of the glass. And then we've got to repeat that nonsense with getting those bits into the corners. Not so difficult this time because actually we've already fitted it once so we've loosened it a little bit anyway. So there we go, that's what it looks like at the moment. Now I'm just going to run a bead of hot melt all the way around the edge. Just a really thin one, just going to Tiny bit messy, I guess, but does the job. Now for hanging it up, I decided rather than some elaborate system of loops and wire and contraptions, I've just stuck a strip of card on the back of it. And the hook will just catch on that. And it will still give me the adjustment capacity by moving it on the hook like so. I just literally cut a strip of card to size. I scored it on the two sides and then I stuck it down with hot melt glue onto the back. Couldn't be simpler, actually a really simple way to make a hanger for a frame that's not too heavy. So there we are, that was pretty simple. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.